Ariel Hawani in Las Vegas for UFC 197 alongside Ovin St. Preux, who meets John Jones this Saturday for the interim light heavyweight title. OSP, we are just around 48 hours away now. Biggest fight of your life, biggest stage possible. Can you put us into your mind? How are you processing all of this? Um, really, I've just uh, been walking around smiling all day. Um, like I said, the biggest thing about it is keeping myself in a positive atmosphere. It's just being happy. You know, I'm excited. You know, opportunity was presented to me, and I'm going to take full advantage of that opportunity. I know you're very focused on the fight, but outside of this event, the entire world is talking about Conor McGregor, and I'm wondering if that has taken some pressure off of you. That, the fact that less people are focused on this, that maybe it has relieved some of that pressure. Like I was saying before, the pressure was never on me uh, from the get-go. So, you know, with me, I feel like... Uh, I don't care. I can play. I, I can fly up under the radar and pop out of nowhere, and that's when uh, um, you know hell will break loose. But other than that, you know, I'm enjoying the moment. Do you feel like he respects you deep down inside? That he respects you as an opponent? I mean, uh, probably not. Probably I, I don't know. You know, I try not to think about that. I try not. I don't want. You know, to be honest, like that has nothing to do with me. You know, I had a uh, one of my fraternity brothers. One of the he told me a line one time that I'll never forget. It was like, um, basically tell me, whatever you think about me is none of my business. It was like, so, you know, at the end of the day, whatever you say, whatever you think about me, you know, how you present me, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just going to be like, okay, I know myself, so. You said on the Countdown show that you and John are holding a lottery ticket, but only one of you has the winning ticket. Do you view it that way? Because in, in a way you can view that statement as like, okay, you know, anyone has a chance like in the lottery anyone has a chance do you, do you view it like that like it's a 50 50 and you know at the end of the day anyone's got a shot we're in vegas aren't we yeah that's right that so is right. you know um it's kind of crazy you know i never gambled since i've been here wow. and this is me gambling right that's now right. yeah so uh, you were back at uh, uft for that uh, spring game right they showed that yeah. on embedded what kind of support did you get there do do a lot of people recognize what you're about to do on saturday Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, I had a lot of my old teammates there, and um, um, pretty much all of them told me they're going to be watching and telling me, uh, tell me um, you know, get the win. So, you know, I, got, I definitely get a lot of support, you know, from the Vol Nation. Daniel Cormier has said that this was the best time to beat John Jones because he's coming off the layoff and, you know, all the stuff outside of the cage. Do you agree with that? Do you feel like you are now meeting him at the perfect time? Um, you could say that, but, you know, like I said before, John is the type of guy who always prepare himself you know, well in advance. So, you know, the John I'm going to fight, I'm, I expect to be the best John, too. I know you've been thinking about him for a long time, your coach as well. Honestly, what's his biggest weakness? What's the hole that you're going to exploit on Saturday? Um, you're going to have to see. You know, you know the answer? Yeah, I know the answer. You're just going to have to see. I mean, you can, can give talk, us a hint? You can talk to my trainer about it. He'll, he'll, he'll fill you in <laughs> more than I can, but uh, you, you just have to see. You feel, though, that the blueprint is out. You know, even though this guy has been invincible in the UFC, the blueprint is there to beat him? It's always a way to beat somebody. Yeah. You just got to find a way. And, you know, knowing my trainer, Eric Turner, if you talk to that guy, he, you, you know he has a way. And now he's talking about maybe fighting at UFC 200 against Cormier. Have you seen that stuff? Do you feel like they're looking past you? Man, I don't even get online. Look, you I'm know. telling you, like, once it comes to finding out any news about anything, like, I get secondhand information all the way. I don't go on any, you know, MMA websites. I don't go on uh, um, the, um, I just, want, I, I just like, I don't look at anything online. Well, now I'm a little offended. Huh? I'm a little offended now. I, you know, <laughs> I can't keep myself occupied like that. You know, online, a lot of people say a lot of things, and at the end of the day, you just like, you know, I'm not just going to go online and just kind of look on everything. So, you know, I just keep to myself. I get all the information from Joey and Eric. Final thing, uh, that day when, when Cormier invited you to go train with him and it turned into this whole thing and then they were tweeting back and forth and it exploded. I know you say you don't go online, but did you ever think like, what the heck did I get myself into? Like you were in the middle of this vicious rivalry. Was it, was it kind of crazy for you? I didn't get myself into anything. <laughs> I didn't say nothing about nothing. Right. Nah, it was just like uh, just pulling on each other. Yeah. So, you know, they, they know how to get on each other's nerves. So, you know, I just kind of let them have it. Ready to shock the world? Feel the confidence. Appreciate yeah. it, OSP. Thank you very much. Good luck Thank on you. Saturday. Thank you.